There's more than two forces of nature festering their way across the world right now, except the one I'm talking about today is not only far more based on real research, but also far more deadly. Think about it. What are the three things humans need to live? Oxygen, sex, and water. I think it's safe to say that not having any one of these three things could spell doom for the entire human race. So here's a thought experiment for you. If somebody required you to buy their game on Steam in order to drink a glass of water, how many days do you think they'd live? 20? 10? Try 4. Four days without water. This madman has developed one of the most risky business endeavours in the world, just to make himself look like a developer that worked out the secret to getting through Steam Greenlight. And what's the worst part of it all? Steam would not allow it. Steam want this man to die, solely because his game doesn't match their standard of quality. Supposedly, it was rejected because it didn't have enough game in it. Uh, hello, have you seen 90% of the games on Steam Greenlight? Well, BMC Studios fixed this by adding the worst possible game imaginable, and adding it as a side quest in his water drinking phenomenon. We have to be serious for a moment, and admit the reality of the situation. After a point, what we're potentially watching on the game store page are snuff films. This is not okay. But my channel is only small and I don't have enough influence to do anything about it. We need to fix this, and we can fix this. Please, send this video to bigger channels that can help, like Logan Paul, Keemstar, Leafy, and even smaller, less well-known channels that might be able to help. For example, there's this new up-and-coming YouTuber called PewDiePie. He has an alright channel, it's not too great, but I don't know, people might like him one day. Anyway, here's my in-depth critical analysis and review of the game. Move over, Joseph Anderson and White Light. There's a new lass in town. This early access title is the Dark Souls of the water drinking genre. Some say it takes weeks to pass a single level, one week specifically, every Friday. Someone may even die from such a difficult game. This is a social experiment, I, I mean action game, that's taking the world by storm. Raid H2O Legends. Now it's pretty clear most of this video was a joke. Whilst the developer is potentially risking his health, as raised by some concerned and some less concerned people on the community page, he claims to be doing it safely. My only concern is whilst downloading the game, my antivirus picked up on a medium level threat. Although this time I actually did some real research, and some small investigating led me to believe it was a false positive. However, BMC Studios, you might want to fix this, as it stops the game being able to run. And then you'll be accused of hoodwinking your audience more than I allegedly did. <laughs> Especially after a 13 gigabyte download. You should seriously fix that, like what the hell. Otherwise, this is a social experiment being done safely by a guy who seemed pretty friendly on Twitter. He denied a review key, so I respect his hustle, that or he really cares about not contaminating his research results. Research doesn't matter. Take a page from my book, dude. What's the worst that could happen? Anyway, what do you guys think? Only 20% of the people stay until the end of the video, so I can't wait to see how many people think this guy is an actual threat. Big brain thinking. Thank you, Adlan Lagache is my real name, for allowing me to do a sequel to my breakout video. Anyway, on the off chance you could bear sitting through this entire video, you might like my sense of humour, and I've got some great ideas for future videos, so ring a ding ding that bell, and I, I promise to never say it like that again. If that's not a worthwhile cause, I don't know what is. This is me, Evans with a Z111, the UK's worst YouTuber out. Peace.